Welcome back to Winning Law. I'm attorney David Wynn with offices in Houston, Texas. And today we're going to talk about whether or not a person has to change their surname or last name after getting married, especially when it comes to immigration. So if you're considering marrying a U.S. citizen or green card holder, and you're wondering about this question, I'm here to answer it for you today. So the short answer is no. The United States government does not require foreign nationals to change their surname after getting married. However, if you're considering getting a name change, let me go over three tips with you. The first tip is that you can only change your surname or last name after getting married. You can't change your first name or your middle name, which many people try to do. So let's say, for example, your name is Ashley Summer Johnson. You get married to a person named John Smith. After getting married, you can change your name. To, you can keep your name as Ashley Summer Johnson or you can change your name to Ashley Summer Johnson Space Smith or Ashley Summer Johnson hyphen Smith or you can change it to Ashley Summer Smith. You, again, you cannot just magically change your first and middle names. You can't take your last name and then move it to your middle name and then add on a new last name. It's not how it works. The second tip is how to start using your new surname. So if you want to start using your new surname, it's very easy. You just have to start doing it. So if you file your taxes, if you pay, um, sign up for new credit cards, go ahead and start using your new surname or last name. Once you start using it, however, you can never go back to using your old maiden name or your last name before you got married. And this is very important because many people who end up getting a divorce, they think they can go back and just start using their old maiden name, and this is not true. If you want to start using your old maiden name, you actually have to go in and file a name change request, or you have to request for it in your divorce decree. It's not automatic. So just remember, if you want to start using someone's new surname, that you have to keep on doing it for the rest of your life, unless you have a court order stating that you can change your name. So the third tip involves how to change your name on your Texas driver's license. And this is a question that we get a lot here. If you already have a social security card, you want to go to the social security administration and ask them for a new social security card because you got married. You want to show them the original marriage certificate for them to do this. After you get the new social security card, then you can go to the Texas DMV and ask for a new driver's license with your new surname. Texas makes it very difficult to get a new driver's license with a new surname unless you have a new social security card. So these are three tips on what you should do if you're considering a name change after getting married to a U.S. citizen or a green card holder. Again, this is Winning Law. I'm attorney David Wynn, and we hope that we have made immigration easier to understand. office we are here to help you we bring families together through immigration and on the other hand we help you find solutions all your legal needs in the hands of people who care who are there for you we'll take care of your loved ones at the law office of david